I'll do. Tom here. Back again. Today, I'm bringing you a tobacco review. Two videos in one night. Housekeeping. Sabinelli, St. Nicholas. I think it's 2018. I don't say. But yeah, it's a St. Nicholas pipe all the same. It's got a funky green stem, which nearly everyone I talk to absolutely despises. But it's right, you know. Hit the game, not the player. An English pipe. I am smoking. As you may have been tipped off by the title and the thumbnail. I'm for a Kentucky. Now, I know a lot of people think I'm for a, and they think of those fruity aromatics that we do and that's fine I mean they earned that reputation they deserve it however they have released over the last couple of years a range of non-aromatic tobaccos they've done a Virginia one which I'll get to at a later date um, they've done a Burley one I believe they've done a Latakia one which I'm not going to review because I don't like Latakia very much at all these days. But we've also done Kentucky one, which I'm going to be talking about today. I'll show you what the tobacco looks like. Pouch is sort of dark blue, kind of a royal marine blue. You probably can't see it that well in here because the lighting's terrible and I keep moving and it makes us overhead lighting look really harsh when it's not. And I don't have any curtains in my kitchen, and I'm not buying any, so there you go. That's that story out of the way. So this is what the tobacco looks like. Kind of like tree bark, kind of like dark tree bark. It's very dark in fact, in some some cases you could mistake it for Latakia, but it's not, as you get from the smell. Because it don't smell that like it. It smells like dark fired Kentucky. Now, I like that fine Kentucky very much. Obviously there's a bit of Virginia in here as well. That's all it is, Virginia Kentucky. Now I know some people hear Kentucky and they think fried chicken. Other people hear Kentucky and they think strong tobacco. Now this one is it's quite full flavoured, but it's not strong in terms of nicotine, I wouldn't say. I I place it at a medium, to be honest. Um, all the same for me. It's probably not an all-day smoke, just because I couldn't really smoke Kentucky all day through. I prefer something a bit lighter um, during the day and something a little bit more body in the evenings. But it's really good burns clean doesn't burn fast there's that white ash everyone strives for um no topping you know thankfully i know that should go without saying but you know what some manufacturers are like they just throw caution to the wind at every possible juncture um but no this is a really good smoke it's kind of woody it's very smoky um yeah, it's got that nice sort of barbecue -y, um mesquite kind of uh, scent to it. Very much like Bold Kentucky, but this is like a light version of Bold Kentucky and it is more like a broken flake than a mixture. Um, and whereas Bold Kentucky is actually a flake. Um, but yeah, it's lighter, so if you like Kentucky blends but you don't want anything quite as strong or you want an introduction to Kentucky blends then yeah go for this one it's great um, not available in the UK at present and let's be honest probably never is going to be um, but it is available in the States if uh, if it's not sold out um, it's 
also available in Germany, which is where I get it from. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a cracking smoke, quite surprising. Um, I'm not a huge burly lover, um, or, you know, anyone who watches a lot of my videos knows that my main bags are Virginia and Virginia Freak. But I like to branch out occasionally, I like to try new things. Um, Kentucky is a leaf that I appreciate, um, as is Oriental, I do like Oriental, there's no Oriental in this, um, but yeah, anyway, it's good, it's a good smoke, um, what would I give it out of five, I, I'd give it an easily a four, easily a four, um, if it was winter time, perhaps I'd even give it a 4.5, um, it's great. It's a great smoke. I really enjoy it. Um, considering it's uh, under the Amphora brand, McBaron uh, manufactured, and it's like, I wish I if it's €9.75. That's nothing. For 50 grams of tobacco, that's nothing these days. Um, that's that's not a penny wasted there. It's, it's terrific. Um... And if you don't like this, I'm not sure um, pipe tobacco's for you. No, no, I'm joking. There'd be plenty of people who don't like this, I'm sure. But a lot more people who do. If you like your natural tasting tobaccos, this is one to give a bash. Um, I like it very much. Um, I'm going to buy more of it. Um, it's just a shame it's all in pouches, it's not in tins. Um, so I'm not sure how long these pouches would last in the cellar. Probably forever. I'm probably being paranoid, but you never know. That seal's going to give some point, isn't it? I suppose I could jar it, but who's got time for that? Anyway, going to leave it there. I'm for Kentucky. It's, it's really good. It's really good. I encourage you to seek it out if you haven't already. Um, if you have tried it, let me know what you think of it. Agree, disagree, whatever. Um, I might not respond to your comment, but I will read it. I will read every single one of them. So, yeah, anyway. Take it steady. I'll be back uh, so sooner rather than later, hopefully. Hopefully it won't be uh, like three months like the last time. Anyway, take it easy. Cheers.